What's in the box? We have a new part in today. This one's a bit cheaper. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no confidence in this one. But you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot anyways. All right. So what do we have here? Well, that's a dead giveaway. So this is a face plate. Looks like we have ourselves digital meter. And as you can probably read, air fuel mixture. That's right, we got a off-brand wideband <laughs> gauge and sensor. So this one I just ordered on Amazon. It's about a hundred bucks. So if it's not that great, whatever. So it looks like this is gonna be your plug and harness for the back right here. Here's our O2 sensor. Yeah, that doesn't look very promising, but you know, we're gonna find out. We got some hardware here. Comes with a little bung, I guess you weld it onto your, your exhaust. Looks like we've also got our harness for our sensor. Which looks like it also plugs into the back here. And this obviously plugs into the sensor. And it looks like we have instructions, installation instructions. Yeah, that's not very promising either. Definitely not doing that. Here's that's all that's in the box. Oh yeah, you also get a different faceplate. It's plastic. Nothing special. My first impression of this wideband air fuel ratio. It's cheap. It feels cheap. It looks cheap. It's all plastic. Uh, you have no way to mount it anywhere, so you're gonna have to buy something to mount it. Unless, you know, you decide to glue it somewhere. But we're gonna figure it out. Coming soon, next video, we're going to be installing this. If for some reason you wanna try out this wideband uh, setup here, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to it in the description so you can go ahead and buy it yourself. It's like 90 bucks plus shipping, about $101. So. On that video, I will be announcing the winner of our $100 gift card giveaway if, uh, to ZZP. If you wanna be entered in that, go ahead, watch this video right here. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much. Drive easy.